What I think of Ned and um, Weekay's channels. The fact is, our demographics are different, our cultures are different, our backgrounds are different, our age groups are different. Um, but it doesn't mean their channels are no good. Um, basically, what I find is that if you're an American and looking for day-to-day -day life, their channels have all that for you. Um, my channel covers more uh, topics relating to very specific things, um, but it doesn't mean that theirs are any less useful. It just means they're covering different topics. I know some people have said about um, they've had issues relating to the commenting sections. The commenting sections normally become a problem over a period of time. The reason being is you get bombarded with stupid responses. So eventually you start going delete, delete, delete. And I know some people on my channel aren't on Wiki and possibly Ned's channel because they can't comment, so they dislike their channels. But it's normally caused by other people, not you. Um, I had a comment the other day where somebody said, well, it sends me to sleep. And I'm just sitting there thinking, you're, a, you're an idiot. At the end of the day, you do not need to watch my channel. And in fact, I guess you don't watch my channel. You just put a stupid comment. And that's what I'm talking about. That sort of stuff is why you would turn around and go, what are you doing? It's the same as I get a lot of thumbs down, but only like one or two per video. And then when you look at it, it's the same people doing it. And they don't even watch the videos. Because when you check your dislikes, you can see they've disliked in under three seconds. They didn't even watch it. Um, they're just doing it for trolling. Stupid. Childish. And whose time is it wasting? I make this video um, and it's watched by hundreds of people. But at the same time, them doing a thumb down, they're not even watching it. I don't look for their thumbs down. I, it's just that when I'm, like for example, when I'm doing an upload and it crashes, I need the, the title of the video that crashed. I will actually go into my list of uploads so I can copy it because it's sort of like half uploaded so I can paste it into the video that's uploading. And then you'll see thumbs down and I'm like, it's the same people over and over again. It's just really sad. But the, So be aware that um, it's not personal. But a lot of the time uh, you may assume that they dislike your comment but it's normally because other people have commented so many stupid things that you sort of say, I'm getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of that. And it's not personal. It isn't personal. And I'm sure if you message them directly and says, look, I was just being honest about this, they'd probably go, okay, fair enough. So be aware of that. But I would say their information is more day-to-day -day where mine's more specific tasks and specific um, situations, events, etc. All of them are useful. And I know some people on the negative side have said about the age gaps. If they're happy, does it really matter? The answer is no. The, the, you know, they're not bothering anybody. And as long as it's all about board and legal, who cares? Um, because from my, my point of view, it doesn't really matter. Um, as long as everyone's happy. They're not, you know, I did that video with the 70, the young girl and 70 year old. And it's funny how people assumed my opinions this when I didn't actually have an opinion in the video. I'm talking about specific things that can go wrong in relationships of that age gap um, because it's stuff for people to think about. It's about reducing risk. So when you sit there and go, well, you know, one of the big things I'm always pushing is communication with your partner. doesn't matter what age group it is. The reason being is a lot of the problems are normally not on the surface. It's stuff you are not aware of. So... If you can move that barrier, remove it, then you will find that the relationships work better. Um, this is why I discuss these things in the first place. So don't assume that I have an issue with XYZ, because I don't. What I have an issue is with things like child abuse. I have an issue with exploitation. I have an issue with people trolling people just for keywords, which is what you're, you're finding somebody is doing on another channel at the moment. They're targeting... Uh, bigger channels purely for um, keywords. Why? Because they need the money. Um, 
I'm trying to avoid getting into the negative stuff because they feed on the negativity like no tomorrow because that's where they're making money. Because I've like my troll. Um, my troll uses my name a lot. Why? Because I don't use my name. You know, when I do a Philippines video, it says Philippines expat, blah, blah, blah. But he's using my name all over the place because it's easy to get a ranking on my name because I don't use it. I don't use it in my videos. It would be stupid for me constantly using my own name in stuff because it's just over branding in many ways. It's just stupid. Also, I don't need to compete with a troll. They they have enough issues without me competing with them. But anyway, Rik in this channel very useful, um, especially if you're from the sem similar demographics as those guys, uh, because retiring in the Philippines, you're going to have very specific things to do uh, that will be similar to them. Um, I would doubt they travel around as much as I do. I because we're a different age group but also there's a lot of stuff I do like the business stuff there they probably don't do because they have no interest if you've got a pension or whatever you know I mean they're probably doubling their pension incomes from the YouTube alone then they're not really fast you know I do business because I enjoy business um, it, I like doing stuff for myself um, I have a keen interest in new things so that's why I do it. That's why our channels are very different, but all cover top topics of relevance to for everyone. That's why I I recommend having more channels, not less. Um, I never advise somebody just to watch my channel purely because I'm I cover Cebu. I cover specifics relating to murders, immigration, etc., etc. But you may be interested in. Some of the other guys, uh, like Cali, for example, about supermarkets and stuff in general life. If you're a Phil Am, then he's got a lot of information that you would find useful. There is no reason to stay specific. There's no loyalty card here. You want to pick and choose the information that's most useful to you. All right. Thanks for watching.